Hello and welcome to Path Made Easy. Today's example is an adenoid cystic carcinoma. So the tumour is encompassing much of the image on screen. Over in the top left we do have some normal parotid parenchyma. So in this particular example this tumour actually is fairly well defined in this upper region. As we come round the side we can however see that we've got islands of tumour creeping off into the connective tissue and adipose tissue indicative of something malignant. So in an adenoid cystic carcinoma you typically see cribriform, tubular and solid patterns. So this area here is quite nice for the cribriform pattern. So we've got very dark angular cells and they're associated with this kind of mixoid and sometimes hyalinized matrix or globules giving this Swiss cheese or cribriform pattern. If we transition to an area up here, this is what I'd describe as looking like the tubular pattern, quite simple uh, tube-like structures. Uh, some of them are bilayered, whereas some of them, um, there are multi layers of epithelial cells. So the solid component isn't that well demonstrated in this tumour. Perhaps it's beginning to look a bit more solid here, although there are some intervening ductal areas and cystic spaces. Um, one thing adenoid cystic carcinoma is very well known for is growing around nerves. So this is a nerve fibre, quite a large one, and we can see nests of tumour within the nerve and also around it. Um, these tumours are biphasic tumours because they are composed of epithelial and myoepithelial cells. So as such, um, low molecular markers like CAM5.2 typically highlight the um, inner luminal cells, so these ones here, whereas the myoepithelial cells would be positive for things such as uh, P63, P40, sometimes SMA and S100. Um, this um, cribriform pattern uh, can get confused with a, a polymorphous adenocarcinoma, but they are typically positive, uh, sorry, negative for P40, unlike the adenoid cystic carcinoma. In addition, adenoid cystic carcinomas have a common translocation, which is MIB NFIB, and sometimes it will have other fusion partners as well, but the most common is MIB NFIB. So this is an adenoid cystic carcinoma. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel Path Made Easy. Thank you.